Hi everybody, we're back for a quick little video. I posted my planner advent yesterday and um, I had placed a few of my favorite pens out and then realized uh, via Dakshina's uh, comment that I didn't mention what my favorite pens were. I, I showed a pretty photo of my favorite pens, but I didn't uh, share what they are. So I'm going to pull everything out of my uh, Le Heat Lab uh, pen pouch and show you what all I have in here. And I do have way too much stuff in here. I do need to, um, I think, thin it down a little bit. So I'll get all of my pens out. There, that's all of them. Uh, let's see, and I've got a variety. I have ballpoint, I have gel, I have uh, like a felt tip, I have Tombow dual brush markers, I've got pe mechanical pencils, regular pencils, lots of <laughs> different items. So let me kind of... Yeah, this is crazy to have this many pens in one pen pouch, I think. What I'll do is group them by brand, I guess. <laughs> that would be the easiest way to do it. I was just using that one. These are uh, the same brand. Because one person needs five of the same pen in their pen pouch, right? Um, those are the same brand. Those are... Okay. So... Why don't I start with this one first? This right here is a Sharpie S-Gel pen. It is in the Metal Collection, and it is the color Champagne. Uh, it's just like the standard black ones. I thought the husband might have one on the table, but I don't see it. It's just like the standard black ones that they first came out with, but it's a um, metal uh, barrel, and... Uh, you know, you can buy refills for it, and uh, it'll last a lot longer than the plastic one for those people that like a slightly heavier pen. It writes beautifully. You get four in a pack for, I think, about $10, and they come in this champagne color, and I thought it was really pretty. I thought it looked quite nice with my Filofax uh, Ochre Malden. Um, or you can get it in, like, a dark gray, which they call gunmetal. So that's the Sharpie S-Gel, really nice pen. I'll set them over here. And then why don't we go this way? This is a Copic Multi-Liner. It is the uh, 0 0.5, and it's just your typical multi-liner. Um, it's, you can get it in a pack of four or five from Michaels, and it's just a typical disposable multi-liner, nothing Fancy. This right here is a Stadler Triplus Micro uh, Mechanical Pencil, and it's 0 0.5, and it has um, a nice eraser that you can um, replace when you're finished with it with another eraser. And I've had this mechanical pencil, gosh, probably since about 2014, maybe? I got the black set that came with like the black pen, the black ballpoint pen, the black felt, the pencil, all, all black things. Except there was one yellow thing in there and it was the highlighter. Um, but the only thing I use from that set is the mechanical pencil. So there's that. This right here is a Palomino Blackwing Pearl. And it is a beautiful pencil to write with. Um, I like using the Palominos, and I like using the um, Dixon Ticonderogas uh, for my music because they they um, use just little pressure, 
and they erase really well. So when you're done with, you know, rental music, you can make it look brand new, get all of your markings out of it. This is a Kokuyo uh, eraser, and you buy refills for it. I think I have two more refills for it. Um, and I've used that much of it um, since I've gotten it. And I've had this probably since October of last year, maybe, or September. It was one of the items in the Cloth and Papers Penspiration box. And um, yeah, so I've been using that. This right here is a ballpoint pen. Um, and it's actually the original blue. I haven't changed it from the black, but it is by Bolograph, which I think is a uh, Swiss company. Um, it's a pen that I know that Brie at Documented Journey uh, uses, and it's one that she recommends for her style of uh, crosshatching in, um, in her art that she then watercolors and it's, it's a really, really nice pen, um, and it's olive green, so it's even better. Ah. Okay, now these three pens are kind of special. This is, they're all uh, Uni, U-N-I, they're a Japanese brand. Um, this one I've had since 2014. It is a Tri pen except I has a pencil. I've got black in it and red ink in it right now. And you can um, replace the, um, the ink. Let me see if I can do that now that I pulled this out. There. And um, I have one exactly like this and the husband has one exactly like this. And it's a beautiful pen. I have... Um, 0.5 and 0.38 um, refills. Uh, you can choose which you want. And I think you even think they even make a 0.7, um, but I have 0.5 and 0.38 on hand to replace here whenever I, I need to. And I, I, I've been going through my pens and I pulled it out and realized how much I love this pen. So I'm gonna start using it. Now these two, you'll see, they are single pens. They are gel pens. Um, it's the same brand, Uni uh, Pure Malt. Oh, turn it this way so you can see. And um, they just, the only difference is uh, one has light wood and one has a dark wood. And it, it's a really nice grip. Um, they're, they're really beautiful pens. So there's those. This is kind of like my um, little tool pen collection. I have um, first, these are just a fine tipped ballpoint pen. Um, and I keep these in my pen pouch because um, if someone needs to borrow a pen, uh, these are the pens I let them borrow uh, because you can get the tool pens, like a pack of 12 for like 10 bucks. So, um, or I think slightly less than that. Um, but I, I keep these on hand uh, in case the pen doesn't get returned to me. It, you know, isn't like one of my beautiful pure malts. It's it's a tool pen. I know I can just go to Office Depot and, and get a pack of them and there they are. These are tool as well. But these are a medium, and they are the gel pen. They had these on clearance. There's like silver, a yellow gold, there was like a rose gold, and then like a, oh, I forget what the other, like a, like a nickel or something. It was a, a slightly darker than the silver. And they're just a typical gel pen, and they're, they're quite, quite nice. Um... And then I have a tool, mechanical pencil. I actually have one in my flute bag as well. I love the tool pencil. It's a little bit, um, uh, how do you say it? It's a bigger grip than the TriPlus Fineliner or the TriPlus Micro Pen pencil. Um, 
I like this because of the, the triangle, but this has like a softer rubber grip. Um, and so I, I tend to draw this more. So I'm probably gonna get rid of that, but it's always nice to have an extra pencil in your pouch. So those are my tool pens. Now I have a huge collection here of, uh, these are Pentel Energel. Now, if you look at these, most people are used to seeing like this type of a barrel with some sort of a color, blue, black, brown, silver. Um, they come in white, they come in a, a variety of colors. This pen, this is a Pentel Klena in blue. This is a Pentel Klena in brown. The only difference between these three, well, there's two differences. The, the main difference is the body, the design. This has like that more sporty, and these are like the Japanese ones. But the ink inside is the same Pentel ink, except this one has brown ink. This one has like a blue black, and this has black. But the ink in here will go in here, or the ink from here will go in either of these. And these are the exact same things. These are just like a demonstrator pen, like a clear body, so you can see how much ink you're using. This one has blue black in it, so like those two are the same. And this one has black. Now this is another Pentel Energel, and um, it's one of their metal collection, and it's like a, um, a pearl finish. It's just white. It's the same ink, all of these pens, the same refill works in all of them. So you can get, you know, a box of, what, like 12 or 24 of these at Office Depot or Staples for like 15 bucks maybe. Um, it's probably less than that. I'm just depending on where you are in tax. Um, and it's the same. Now this pen is like $10 because it's, it's metal, it's heavier, it's weighted. Um, these two are the Japanese import. So they were a little bit more expensive. I think they were like $5 a piece. Um, but these you can get for just like a couple of bucks if you just want to go buy one. And they usually have them at the front of the store um, at, at the checkout, or at least they used to pre-COVID days. So those are my Pentel Energel, and I love the Pentel Energel. That's, those are really nice pens. Um, let's see, this is my Hobonichi, the, the new 2021 pen, the, the dark, dark, dark blue triple pen. And this is a, a Zebra Sarasa multi-pen in 05. And this has, I think, five, yeah. It has um, a pencil. I always like having a pencil. And then in here I've got black, red, green, and blue. And it's just like the, um, there you can see them. I'm actually out of black. <laughs> it's just like the, um, oh, what was that other one? Oh, like that uni pen, or even like the um, uh, the Hobonichi, which is a uni pen. You can just pull it out and replace it. Um, and then the last things I have are two uh, Tombow dual brush pens. I have um, 026, which is kind of like a pretty yellow ochre. And then I have 942, which is kind of like a, like a skin color, you know, like a Caucasian person skin color. And what I do is, you'll see, you can see the numbers very clearly, is I put a piece of scotch tape around the barrel because you can see that this comes off quite easily because it's just a little coating of of um, paint on it. So that's what I do so I can remember which color they are because they don't have names, they just have numbers on them. 
And so that is <laughs> all of the stuff <laughs> that you can see that I have in this little pen pouch. Um, usually in the back here, I keep my bolograph. Um, I keep the S gel. I keep one of the tool, so that way it's easy to grab back there. And then usually my, uh, what's it called? Pure Malt from Uni. So I keep those in there, and I zip that up. And then, oh, I also keep a chapstick in there as well. I tend to put the pencils, or actually, I tend to put the pens I don't use that frequently at the bottom. So that would be those two. Uh, that one. That. Then the multi-pens. Then I put the Tombos. I'm gonna leave that pencil out, I don't use it. And then, actually, this one I keep with my Vander Speck. And then those go on top. So you can see, I, I do fit. Oh, I'll put that in there just to have it. Um, I do fit quite <laughs> a lot of stuff in my little pen pouch. And then my white one I, I always use in my Vander Speck. And just so you can see what I have in the front. There, I have a ruler. I see something else. Oh, it's a traditional medicinals tea tag. It says, nature does not hurry, yet everything is accomplished. Lao Tzu. So that's what I got in there. So, uh, I will leave a list down below of all of the pens that I have in here. So if you have any questions, just let me know and I will get back with you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.